dear Jan and John, I'd like to uh, uh, to present my you my congratulations for your let's say a little bit right, late retirement, and I uh, deeply regret not being able to participate at the festivities of your retirement, but I'm will be really glad to see you again in uh, next autumn and i want to really say thank you very deeply for your engagement for your for your faithful engagement for uh, bringing us the word of god near to me and i think also to the other members of the living of the church and and also for your very engageful uh, caring about the uh, about the community, about the uh, hmm, yeah the members of the church, keeping uh, yeah just just like a shepherd, keeping your sheep uh, together. And I want to say one more time again, thank you very much, and I will be very very glad to see you again next autumn probably beginning of uh, october and i say goodbye to you jan and john and thank you bye bye john hi jan oh it's great to be with you even if it is only via zoom we do so wish we could have been with you on this uh, auspicious occasion when uh, the church officially says uh, farewell and thank you for all that you have done for the fellowship during the years that you've been involved. Carol and I wish you the very, very, very best, both of you. We can't say that you're going to retiring because there's no such thing as retirement in God's kingdom, as I'm sure you know. But uh, we do wish you the chance to, to relax a little more perhaps and not be so concerned as you have been obviously for the day to day running of Living Water Fellowship. So again, I pass over to, to Carol, but I personally wish to thank you both for, for your friendship over the years that we've known you, for the good times and perhaps some of the difficult times that we've experienced together. So all the best from me, and now it's over to Carol. Hi, John. Hi, Jan. Oh, what a time. I just wish we could be with you at this time, but it's not possible at the moment, but we just wish you both not a retirement, but a time of peace and to relax and enjoy one another. I thank you, Jan, for all the encouragement you've given me in the past. Times when, you know, things have not been going great, but you've always been there. And so has John. So now, as I can't reflect, I'll reflect on what Jeff said, uh, Jeff said. We send all our love, all our blessings, and we pray that we, we're over in October, that we'll see you then. Bless you both mightily. God bless you. Okay, yeah, it's it's not goodbye. It's just uh, see you later. Yeah, okay, you later. Bye, bye for now. Bye. Bye. Hi, John. Hi, Jan. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, it's made a massive difference to how I felt staying in Spain, um, being part of the church and you guys there. And I do appreciate you so much for all your friendliness and all the chats. And sorry, Jan, I used to talk your ear off. And um, I do wish you all the best. And I hope you have a nice long break and that we'll all still keep together and do our silly WhatsApp chats. <laughs> well, lots of love. And I really hope God keeps blessing you. You deserve it. And I love you guys very much. Thank you for all that you've done. God bless. Hello, uh, John and Jan. Um, it's great to be able to chat to you at, at, at this time. We're really uh, sorry that we can't be there to give you a, you know, a proper uh, send off in person. But, you know, we are really, really grateful for all that you have done um, over the years. I mean, We've been in Spain for now, what, 25 years and a large part of that you've, um, you know, you've been there that we can chat to and you've been there. We valued your your ministry, your friendship and uh, all, all, all the you know different things that you've done and the meals that we've been at your place. That's really, really good. Uh, so we do 
hope that you have a really super retirement um, and uh, you know that you just enjoy the time enjoy enjoy God enjoy what he's got for you in the future and um, we're due out the end of September so we would uh, love to be able to see you but we can quite understand if you you're gathering off to uh, the UK or even to America uh, to see the family. So it's been, you know, it has been great um, uh, knowing that you've been there and, uh, you know, just just appreciating all that, all that you do. I uh, don't know if Nikki wants to say anything. Yes, um, hi, Sam and John. We just want to uh, thank you uh, for your leadership. And um, as you sit down and retire, we wish you every blessing for your retirement mm. and um, you'll enjoy being um retired yeah <laughs> completely so uh we'll see you soon although i yeah. don't think john will retire 100 percent, even though <laughs> he stepped down <laughs> uh there are some we'll people see. there are some people who put their carpet slippers on and do nothing for the rest of their lives but i'm sure john is not in that category <laughs> no, no, nor john either. <laughs> because you know we know that you're you're serving people and yeah. you're people people and, uh, you know, that I'm sure is going to continue to go on and on and on um, mm. as long as the, the Lord wants you to do, wants you to do things. So mm. that's great. So it's been great. So we, uh, we do hope everything goes well. well in the future. Mm. And, uh, you know, um, it's going to be a really good send off um, from LWC. I just wish to thank you for everything you've done, who you are, both of you, for, and uh, well, in fact, I wish you all the very best for the retirement. Enjoy yourselves very much and looking forward to seeing you. Bye. Your retirement, you know, you've deserved it over what you've been on through the last year, I know, but we will miss you. We listen to you on YouTube of a Sunday. We came to Mahaka in January 2019 and David and Pam were there. And within a few weeks, they had gone and you'd come in with you and Jan. And so we had sort of February and March with you. And when we left in March, we knew we wanted to come back. We had felt the warmth and the love within the church. And we knew that we wanted to return the next year, which would have been to us the first time we had gone back to the same place. So we came back in January last year. And as you know, we were there for six months. And we really got to know everybody and to love everybody. And you were there all the time for us and even when I got that bite and had to go through to the urgencies and Jan did her interpreting for me, you were there and you helped us and we are very grateful and we are very grateful for the ministry that you have given to us. We wish you well, you've earned your retirement and we wish you well with it. We hope it is a long and happy retirement. And God bless you both, and we pray that he still will. Well, John and Jan, very sorry we can't be there for the 27th. We'd have loved to have been there. If it had been possible, we would have flown over. But unfortunately, it's not. But we wish you all the best on your second retirement. We hope you really enjoy the rest of your life in Spain. And we're also sorry that we won't be neighbours. Mm. That just didn't happen. I mm. think it was God's way of telling us that we shouldn't do it. We weren't able to buy the place we were looking at. Time we got home, Brexit kicked in. We now can't live in Spain because we don't have enough finances. So we wish you all the very best and look really look forward to seeing you both when we come back out next year. God bless you both and thank you for everything. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello, John, Jan. I just want to join with others in saying well done. You've done an amazing job supporting the fellowship, encouraging 
and um, just holding the fort longer than you expected. Uh, you've done an ama amazing job. And um, I I'm sure the Lord is saying, well done, good and faithful servants, enter into your rest. No, not your heavenly one yet, but I just pray that as you go for a break now, wherever you're going, perhaps to England for a bit, that the Lord will refresh you, fill you up again, um, physically, mentally, spiritually, and uh, that you will really know his touch on your life. Really loved being able to join with you when you did um, um, the Zoom in your home. That was an effort, was it, as well? Um, but obviously missed the fact that we couldn't meet with you um, all and see all your faces once you got to the church, but that was lovely for you. I was just actually thinking, um, I wondered when Don and I first met you. I couldn't quite remember. Was it, were you there in the days of Mahaka Christian Fellowship in the Indalo Apartments? Um, I know we came um, to your home near San Juan. Um, there was Bob and Marianne and um, um, Dave and Eileen there and some others. Um, I, don't, I forget now, but I haven't got a photo of you at that time. Anyway. Don't hang up your hat yet, because I know the Lord's got lots more for you to do. When you come back, shining his light, his love, his truth. God bless you both.